Hey guys, it's Misty from the Book Rat, and it's time for book chat. This week, in honor of Halloween and All Hallows Read, which there is a link to in the down bar, we're talking about what one scary, creepy, or supernatural book you would give to complete strangers and why. If you want to prepare for next week's chat, it's going to be online retailers versus brick and mortar stores. If I really sat down to think about this topic, I'm sure that I could come up with quite a lengthy list of books that I would like to just hand to random people that are kind of creepy or whatnot. But there's one that always jumps into my head first, and I've talked about it in the past, and that's We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson. It's one of those books that you start identifying with the bad guy and finding yourself agreeing with some things that you shouldn't be agreeing with or rooting for someone that maybe you shouldn't be rooting for. So I really like a book that gets into your brain like that. It really kind of plays with your emotions and it plays with your perception of things. Um, Mary Cat Blackwell, the main character, is one of the most delightful main characters I think I've ever read. To say that she's a little strange is an understatement, but you can't help but like her at the same time. Though you're questioning her motives and you're questioning her narration the entire time. There's this great sense of unease that Shirley Jackson does. Um, the story is fraught with paranoia and Mary Cat is a bit obsessive compulsive and there are all these little things that she does to make sure that the outside world stays the outside world. She's very, very insulated and you can tell that there's more to the story than you're ever getting. For a long time, you're led to believe that things are one way while you're questioning that in the back of your mind and wondering if they really are that way. It's a very, very brief novel, uh, less than 200 pages, so everything happens very quickly, but you never lose the connection with the characters and you never lose the tension. You're always afraid that the wolves at the door. The townsfolk are outside with pitchforks and you're just waiting for everything to hit the fan. That's part of what adds to the creepy element of the book and that that feeling that you get, that goosebumpy hair on the back of your neck feeling of when is this all going to go wrong and when's it all going to collapse. It just really works on that level and just makes for a super fun read. And of course Shirley Jackson who wrote um, probably one of the most famous short stories ever, The Lottery. Um, is known for her twist endings, so you know something's coming and it's just getting there is what's so interesting. I love a good bit of quirkiness and darkness too in my stories, um, and this just satisfies on all levels, so that was definitely one that I would like to just have a huge stack of copies and just hand them out to people and say, hey, you need to read this. On a dark, moonless night, just cuddle up with, you know, some cocoa and just fall into this warped little world because it's delightful. So it may not be the scariest or the most horrifying, but it's definitely the one book that I would give everyone I could for All Hallows Read. I can't wait to hear which books you would give to people for All Hallows Read, so make sure that you leave a comment or if you do your own video, link it up as a response or post it on the linky at thebookrat.com. Don't forget that next week's book chat is about online retailers versus brick and mortar stores, and I'm sure that that one's going to be an interesting conversation, so I'll see you then.